This is the story of the worst thing that's ever happened in my musical career, how I got through it, and how I prevent it from happening ever again. Now, quite a few handful of years ago, I woke up on like a random Tuesday afternoon and I uh, walked down the hall in my apartment to my apartment bedroom studio that some of you who've been following the channel for a long time might remember. And I fire up the computer, it's time to get to work. And I go to open Pro Tools and the session won't open that I was trying to open. I don't remember the specific error, but it wouldn't open. And I'm like, well, that's weird. I try to open another session. It won't open, same error. I try to open a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth session and none of them will open all with the exact same error that I've never seen before in my life. So I trash Pro Tools preferences, uh, restart the computer, same exact error. I ended up uh, downloading the newest version of Pro Tools, same error. Updated my OS, same error. At this point, I'm really starting to freak out. Now for quite a long time, I was relying on Time Machine to, to run my backups for me, Time Machine on the Macs to run the backups for me and clone my hard drive uh, every day. Was It was supposed to happen every day. Uh, what happened is, Several months had went by, and I don't know why this happened, several months went by where it was not running backups. I don't know if it was a software update, I don't know if it just got switched off, I don't know if it was a glitch, but it was not running any backups. And so I went many months thinking my system was backing itself up every single day, and it was not backing itself up every single day. I did everything that I knew how to possibly do. I did I did a ton of reading and, and like, what can I possibly do? What's going on here? And after a handful of hours, uh, I had an actual panic attack. The only one I've ever had in my life, like a full on like meltdown panic attack. Because I realized that my hard drive was gone and I had probably 30 or 40 songs in process that were not finished. Uh, some of them were very close to being finished. I thought I had lost all of it. Thank God for my wife. She came in and uh, talked me off the ledge a little bit. And she's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. This stuff happens. Let's go to a data recovery place. Let's take the hard drive. Let's, um, let's see if they can get your data back. So I, I do some Googling and I find a data recovery place here in Nashville that had fantastic reviews. I take my hard drive into them. They seemed very optimistic. Sure, no problem, we'll get it for you. Uh, this shouldn't be any problem at all. And uh, I'm still freaking out because I realize, one, I was not in the financial situation to be able to rebuild all of these songs. Uh, I didn't have any idea how I was going to pay the session players again, because it wasn't just my time. Like, I would have to come many thousands of dollars out of pocket to pay session players to rebuild some of these songs, including all of my time invested, like probably two and a half or three months worth of work. And how am I gonna, how am I gonna afford to pay these session players? How am I gonna pay my bills while I'm rebuilding all this and making zero money? And, uh, and obviously I'm not gonna put this off on my clients. Like, this is all going on in the back of my head. Like, how? I don't even understand how I'm gonna get through this. But they were very optimistic. I left the hard drive with them. They called me two days later, and they said that they were unable to recover any of the data, zero data from that hard drive. And they recommended sending the hard drive off to a bigger, more advanced lab in Ohio. And so I said, okay, yeah, whatever it takes, like whatever it costs, because I realized that my lost time, in addition to paying session players again, they could have they could have charged me five grand and I still would have been money ahead to pay the five grand than to rebuild everything again. The hard drive goes to a lab in Ohio. It took a few days to get there shipping wise. They had it for a handful of days uh, before they finally sent an email to me and the original lab and they said that they were unable to recover any of the data from this hard drive. I'm struggling here. I'm, I'm struggling hard. <laughs> They suggested sending the hard drive off to another lab, I think it was in LA, supposedly like one of the biggest, best, most advanced labs in the entire country, and that they would send this hard drive off and that they would have a better chance of recovering this data. So I said, yes, absolutely, please send this off. And they finally get back to me and say that they are unable 
to recover any of the data from this hard drive. And they went on to explain to me a couple things that has influenced every single hard drive and backup decision I've ever made since this moment in time. Now this was a solid state hard drive. Now on regular hard drives, there's an actual disc inside of it spinning. I'm sure you've all heard it spool up. And all the data is stored in an actual literal physical place on this disk. If that hard drive goes bad, oftentimes what they can do at the worst case scenario, unless it got corrupted with magnets or something, they can usually take that disk out, disassemble the whole hard drive, take that disk out, put it in some other makeshift housing and be able to recover the data from that disk because the disk usually doesn't go bad. It's, it's kind of like a CD. Well, this was a solid state drive. And what they went on to explain to me is, and computer experts, nerds out there, don't, don't crucify me for this because I am not an expert for this. This is what they explained to me. Uh, and I have a hard time even wrapping my head around this. However, what they explained to me is on a solid state hard drive, the data is stored in like a three dimensional space, like this room for the sake of this video and the data that was on that hard drive. So this kick drum from this one song might be over here and the snare drum from that exact same song is somewhere over here. And then, you know, the vocal from a different song is down here and everything is stored in this three-dimensional space and there is a read-write mechanism, read slash write mechanism on these solid state hard drives that keep track of where every single piece of data is and so that way when the computer calls on that piece of data, it knows where to grab it from. Now apparently this read-write mechanism is what went bad. And so all the data was still on the hard drive, but it was just a bunch of ones and zeros in random physical locations. So there was no way to actually recover it. <sighs> Man, this is bringing up, this is giving me anxiety just telling you this story. So I started doing some research on my own on this read-write mechanism and a lot of Googling, reading a lot of articles. And apparently these read-write mechanisms physically wear out over time. Every time a piece of data is written to the hard drive or read from the hard drive, the read-write mechanism physically wears out. And so there is a limited number of read-write cycles to a solid state hard drive. This is my understanding of it. Now, while that is supposed to be in the millions or who, who knows how many billions of read-write cycles, this means that every solid state, this is what I took away from this, this means that every solid state hard drive will fail eventually. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And that was very interesting to me. I'm not trying to say that uh, you shouldn't use solid state drives or that solid state drives are even less reliable than traditional hard drives. What I am saying is there is a scenario in which a solid state drive can crash and you will not recover any of the data from it whatsoever because this happened to me. So I wanna take you guys through my current backup system, uh, what hard drives I'm actually using, and uh, what I how I avoid this from ever happening ever again. So before we get to what I'm using now, I just wanna thank Sweetwater so much for sponsoring this video. I actually have bought all of my hard drives from Sweetwater. They have a big selection of hard drives and are meant to be used in a professional environment like this. There are links in the description below to every all of my gear, but I'll put links down below to the hard drives that I use and uh, some other hard drives that I have used that I haven't had any issues with. So get down down below and hit those links. You can buy anything that you need from Sweetwater. So thank you Sweetwater so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you for being a one-stop shop for like actual heavy duty professional use hard drives. Let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about how I rebuilt all of this stuff. Basically what I did is I, I just called every client. I was in full panic mode. I called every client and I was like, I've lost your entire project and I'm, I'm so, so sorry. And I'm so sorry that this is going to screw up whatever timeline that you had planned on. Rest assured that I'm going to finish this project. It's not gonna cost you a dime. It is gonna take time though, because it's a, it's a lot of stuff to redo. Um, and luckily I had bounced a lot of the roughs or a lot of the mixes or whatever out to my Dropbox, which I still had all of those things in Dropbox. So at least I could hear where the song current, where most of the songs currently were at the time that I lost it because I just looked at the most recent bounces. So I had a reference point. So I just began compiling a list of all the artists and the song names uh, that I had lost and what instruments were in each song and then start like who played the instruments, what what session player actually played them. So then I begin juggling, just working like 
16, 18 hours a day for like eight or 10 or 12 months because I had all my current clients that still needed to keep going and I couldn't just stop working with them. But I also had to rebuild all of this stuff for my clients that had lost everything. So I just, just suck it up. It's time to suck it up and uh, let's get this thing done. And that was a long, long, hard, hard road. But I got through it. Everyone's projects got finished. In some cases, they turned out significantly better. We would recut vocals. Maybe I had a better vocal mic or the singer. You know, it was four or five months of them playing shows and singing the songs. They had a better grasp of what they wanted to do. It was mostly bad, but there were some positives that came out of it. Now, the hard drive that crashed was a Samsung T5, just like this one. I still use this hard drive. This is one of my video hard drives. These are not the only drives that I have, and I do not solely rely on these. I've gotten to the point where I do not solely rely on anything. So here's where I've settled on currently. Since Time Machine turned itself off somehow and was not running automatic backups, I decided for me personally that I would never rely on any sort of automatic backup system ever again, ever. So what I do currently is I have a few different hard drives. I have a, a work hard drive, so there's the computer hard drive. I have an external hard drive that is my work hard drive. I have a backup hard drive and Dropbox. And so what I do at the end of every day or at the end of any session that was like, make sure you don't lose this, is I clone either the project, uh, the project folder or the entire hard drive and I will clone it to my backup hard drive. So from my external hard drive to my backup hard drive and I will put it in Dropbox. And I only keep current ongoing projects in Dropbox. Because the general rule of thumb is if your data is not in three separate places, then it's not safe. So that way, worst case scenario, I can get to them from anywhere in the world, but also in the event that I physically lose my hard drives. I will never use a solid state drive for my backup drives Ever. Never will that happen. Currently, I'm using a couple G drives as my main and backup drive, and then Dropbox, like I said. I think I'm going to move back to a solid state drive because solid state drives are way faster. Your system runs faster. It's just, it's just, they're just better, except for the lack of reliability and the lack of being able to recover data if they crash in a certain way. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back to a, uh, a solid state hard drive for my work drive. So Pro Tools and everything runs faster. I keep all my sample libraries on a different hard drive and then I will continually back up to a, a traditional style hard drive and to Dropbox and I will do this manually. Uh, and I may move to a RAID system. So I'll have a solid state work drive and a RAID backup. So that way you can copy once and then it writes it to two or three or four drives all simultaneously. The G drive makes a RAID drive. I've been really impressed with these G drives. I love them. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do the, the RAID, the G drive RAID system, and I'll put links down below again so you can go check all that out. I wanted to make this video because I wanted you guys to hopefully avoid this mistake. Like this could have been real bad. If any one of my clients were real a-holes and like wanted to take me to court over this or whatever, like they could have. And I just am really fortunate that every single one of my clients was it upset but understanding uh, that this was something that was not my fault. And uh, I hope you guys got something from this. I hope you learned from this. Get down to the description below, check out the links. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit me up on Instagram if you haven't yet. I also have a new tech YouTube channel. I'll put that link in the description below as well. It's very new, there's only a couple of things up there, but I needed another place to show off more technical stuff. Hard drive reviews, computer reviews, cameras, cell phones, all the tech stuff that I'm, that I'm interested in. There's a link in the description below for that as well. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.